Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a super simple, easy look. I used the Cover FX palette from the BoxyCharm. A couple new things in there as well. Um, I had no idea, again, what I wanted to do with myself. So here we are. I like the look. I think it looks really nice. So if you guys enjoyed it and want to see how I got this look right here, go ahead and keep on watching. Good morning, everybody. So today we're going to be doing a video. Um, I have absolutely no idea what I want to do. Usually in the mornings I don't have any idea. So this will just be me getting ready, telling you what I'm doing, all that good stuff. So I hope you guys enjoy and follow along. To start off, I'm going to be using the Dewy Primer from Wet n Wild. I've heard really good things about this primer. This will be my first time using it, so we'll see what I think. Well, I really like that primer. It's super nice. Okay, we're off to a good start. Next, a big surprise, I'm gonna go in with the Tatcha the Silk Canvas Primer. I'm going to put this on the center of my face and work it in. Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. You can kind of tell from my neck to my face that I am a little more bronze right now, so I am going to go in with a darker foundation. And I'm going to blend this out with a brush I got from Amazon. And it's just a nice angle topped kabuki brush. So I will put this all over my face and blend it out. Next, for concealer, I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer. And this is in the shade 330, and my foundation was in the shade F7, I forgot to say that. I'm going to apply this underneath my eyes, on my lids, forehead, nose, chin, and blend that out with just a regular eyeshadow brush and then my foundation brush. set my face with the Cody Airspun powder. It is disgusting. It's like my palette that I use. And I'm just going to take this on a fluffy brush and set my whole face. For my face, I'm going to go in with this Cover Effects Perfecto Face Palette. I got this in my Boxy Charm and I've been super excited to try it. I'm going to go with this bronzer shade. It says contour. I'm going to see if I can bronze my whole face with it. Tone of bronze, so I'm gonna go in with my Milani bronzer and just bronze the rest of my face. Now I'm gonna go back into that cover effects palette and I'm going to use the blush shade. It's a little more pinky than what I usually go for, but that's okay. I'm just going to pop this on the apples of my cheeks. some of the brightener in. I may just mix all three. We'll see. Next for eyebrow, 
brows, I picked up this Koki Precision Brow Pencil in Warm Brown at Walmart. It was on clearance, so I decided why not. Um, so I'm going to try this out and fill in my eyebrows. pencil it's a little harder than what I'm used to but it's not really bad it is very small I feel like I have a hard time holding it but I do really like it use the contour shade in my crease and then I probably will put one of the highlight shades on my eyelids Ardell Foam Mink 812s and I'm going to pop these on my balls and I'm going to use my Maybelline Snap Scara to blend them. I'm going to go in with the LA Girl Forever Lip Liner and the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in Monaco. simple get ready with me um really nothing special but just want to come on here and get ready with you guys so i hope you liked it like subscribe comment you know all the good stuff and i will see you guys in my next one bye